Blanca's at home. Hi, I'm Sean, and this is Blanca's at home. With the holidays right around the corner, there's a lot of decorations that run on batteries. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to convert this battery powered decoration to one that is AC powered and you can plug in. So, the benefits of converting to an AC powered system, having this plug into the wall to 120 volt AC, instead of using this DC system, batteries, is that you don't have to change out the batteries and you can actually plug this into a timer so it turns on and off automatically for you. The first part of figuring out how to convert this from a DC system, battery powered, to an AC system is checking the voltage on the batteries. So this has two 1.5 volt batteries. These batteries could be installed in series, which would be three volts, or parallel, which will be 1.5 volts. Next, you're gonna grab your multimeter and you're gonna set it in DC, which is the green color. And you're gonna, I'm gonna set it to 20 volts since I know it's either three volts or 1.5 volts. Let's see what the actual number is. So I took apart the test switch that was previously on here to expose the two wires. So now these are connected to the battery and I'll be able to see if this is a three or 1.5. So now when I touch the two together, you see that it's 2.83 volts, which means this is a three volt system. So the power supply we'll need is a 120 volt AC to three volt DC. Now that we know what the voltage is, I was able to find a power supply online. Um, I will have a link to everything I bought that was required for this project. Um, so the next step is converting the test switch to plug in directly into the power supply. So this is going to be for the indoor one light solution. So the first step is taking the switch apart to expose the bare terminals. All right, so we got the cover off. Now that the cover's off, this piece of cardboard can be taken off. Then from there, I'm going to cut off these little terminals. You'll need to figure out which side is positive and which side is negative, since the diode inside of the head here is directional. So right here, you can see the clip pointing out, a little tab there. That side, the left side here, is going to the positive red probe. And then the right side is going to the negative black probe. And here we have a negative voltage on the multimeter. But this is the connection. So you'll be connecting this one to the positive on this plug here. And you'll be connecting the negative, the right side, to the right side line, the black one. So this was one of the included adapters with the power supply that I got. So in this simple solution, I'm just going to connect each one of the wires into the terminal. So the first thing to notice, this is actually how it shipped to me. It was set to three volts, which is what we need the voltage for this particular light. Um, but keep in mind, whatever the voltage that you originally checked your light at, if it was at three volts, you'll need to, you'll need to set it to three. If it's at 4.5, you need to set it to 4.5. Just make sure you have the voltage set prior to plugging it into your light or your decoration. So now all I have to do is plug this into the terminal connector. So next, before plugging this in, you'll need to take out all the batteries and make sure it's in the off position, which is one of And next, you'll need to add a little jumper between the terminals or where the battery 
connections are. On the switch side, so as you can see, there's a little break between the two. So I'm gonna use a staple for my setup. To get your jumper, you're not gonna wanna use a stapler in the normal staple configuration. Otherwise, it's gonna bend the corners, it's gonna weaken the staple. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna unfold it. Now, just to act like you're stapling. And you'll now have your jumper to put in the battery terminal box. Um, this is about the same gauge as a cable, I just checked it. Um, so it shouldn't be an issue there. So I'm just gonna pry out the uh, little metal contactor to get the staple in there. So do that on both sides. Go. Both are pushed off the wall a little bit. Let's drop the staple in. All right. Now that the staple's in there. Um, you cannot put batteries in there until you take that staple back out. Otherwise, it might cause a short. So now it's set up to be plugged in into the wall. And again, you'll need to keep it in the off position. So let's close it up. Keep it in the off position. That's how it's uh, set up to be used with the little test button. You're going to connect the original test button switch. That's now wired into our plug, and then the final step, we'll plug it in. Let's flip it around. And let's plug it in. It's going to plug it straight into the wall here. And there you have it. So now your Halloween decoration can be plugged into the wall. You'll be able to plug this into a timer. Don't worry about switching out batteries. So not all decorations or devices have this test port that we'll be using in this setup. So if that's the case, you can put the cables directly to the battery box here. Um, so this setup will not require a jumper. So you'll have positive on this side. Just make sure you have the positive shown just like on the battery. And then negative here. Again, you could kind of see the negative in the plastic, but it's a little hard. But you'll know it's negative by the spring side is negative and the little nub side is positive. So I have the T screwdrivers prying out the contacts. So you'll just be able to drop the red into the positive side and the black cable into the negative side. So once you have the two cables installed, go ahead and pull on it slightly to see if they're installed correctly. It's a quick little pull test. You'll connect the red positive to the positive terminal. And the black negative to the negative terminal. Now that it's plugged in, using this method, adding your own cables. This is 26 gauge cables, which matched what the original cables were, which were about 28, slightly smaller. Um, you can go bigger if you'd like. Um, so with this switch here, now I have to put it in the on position and we'll turn it on. And in the off position, we'll turn it back off. Now you have your indoor setup for a simple plug to your decoration. So you don't put batteries in it anymore. And like I said, you can put this on a timer. So let's plug it in here. And now you have your indoor decoration set up. So this solution, like I said, uh, this isn't really weatherproof. So in the next one, we'll go through the weatherproof enclosure and then how to wire up multiple decorations. So you can use one power supply with multiple decorations.